<laughs> so welcome back to the Narrowband channel. Today I'm going to show you, this is broadband imaging, but there's definitely a lot of applications for this for narrowband imaging. And one of the things that you will find kind of ubiquitous across all solar astrophotography is that a mono camera is pretty much king of the hill. Yes, there are some one-shot color cameras out there that are used for it, but pretty much mono is the, the jazz, okay? And I'm going to show you a piece of software here that has made stacking solar images insanely easy, okay? And just really beginner friendly. To get started in this, what you will need is a blocking filter like this one right here. This filter is specifically for solar photography and or viewing too. And this guy will block 99.9999% of light hitting it. That means out of 100,000 photons of light that hits this guy, only one is allowed through. That's just how neutral density deep this thing is. So your, your typical five or seven X neutral density filter that you buy at your camera store, I wouldn't recommend those get one of these. They're not that expensive either. I think this is about 50 bucks. And get the glass ones to start. Now, there are films that you can buy and then you have to make your own filter essentially. The films are going to give you a tiny bit better image quality, but that's just because you don't have extra glass in front of your telescope or your camera. If you want to use your camera lens in order to image the sun, Thousand Oaks makes a series of filters and pretty much every filter size there is that you can thread in and they're also made of glass as well. But yeah, I recommend the glass one to start. Last night was a gorgeous night except for the full moon, uh, which isn't a big deal. You know, shoot near a band, you don't really care about full moons anymore. And I already had this thing polar lined and it forecasts for no end and sunny skies all day. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do some solar photography. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using the Mac. This is the SV Boney 105 Mac, which with the sensor that I'm using, this is the 178 mm Pro Cooled. That's a, a very, very narrow field of view. But a couple of tips. Number one, when you're focusing, that's the hardest thing of all. Uh, I would suggest using a laptop because you got a bigger screen that you can focus with. And what I like to do is actually take the blanket and put it over my head just to like really give me a clear view kind of while I'm out here playing with the focus. That's, that's kind of how I do that. Now, as for like pointing the scope, I actually just use the ASI Air app to do that. So I'm kind of running two different controllers here, so to speak. But another advantage to doing the USB 3 straight to a laptop is that I seem to get higher frame rates. Uh, and I'm using the original ASA Air Plus. I've got the new one coming on order. We'll see if that's faster. But for now, this is what I'm using. If you haven't already done so, go to ZWO's website and download ASI Studio because that's what we're going to use here. I'm going to open up ASI Video Stack. All right, and it couldn't be an easier piece of software. It tells you what to do right away. It can accept AVI, SCR files, FITs, or TIFF files. FITs and TIFF files for post-processing, but uh, AVI and SCR files are typically what it likes for stacking video frames, which is usually what we do. We stack video frames of the sun. Now, I'm gonna actually grab something here that I shot today, and so one thing that it sometimes does is it will actually ask you if this is a mono camera or a one shot color camera, which of course you're gonna tell it that it's a mono camera. And, and then once we've done that, we're just gonna select moon or sun surface because that's what we're shooting here. And this green triangle here, I'm gonna put it over some details that are in the sun because it's gonna use those details to kind of align everything. And then I'm gonna hit stack. And I'm actually not going to pause or forward this video at all because this software is so fast. By the time I am done telling you how fast it is, it's going to be done. <laughs> okay. Which is wonderful because that means you can kind of try iterations after iteration after iteration. You can try stacking different amounts, 50%, 30%, whatever. And 
then you will you know kind of figure out what you like best now i know with a, a video frame this long i probably should have said it's around 25 30 percent we're stacking half of the frames so 10 gigabytes of information is going to get stacked here for us all right once we have it stacked there's a couple tools in here and, and this is the coolest thing of all okay uh, one thing that has always kind of daunted me was getting the colors right well down here at the bottom there's a checkbox for sun color okay which turns your mono camera image which is black and white into a perfect well orange ball <laughs> and yeah th this is actually pretty much what everybody does you know, everybody shoots the sun who does it really well does it in a single channel and that's kind of the only way you can get the contrast there's no rgb shooting of the sun now there are some nice tools in here there's the sharpen tool which based on how many frames you have, I have a lot of frames to work with, so I'm actually gonna go pretty high with this, 100, 100. And then there's also a saturation slider here. Get a little more saturation if you want. If you need to adjust the brightness a tad, you can. Contrast will also bring out a tad bit more detail. You'll start to see some of those lighter highlights on the sun and so forth. And then of course there's a noise reduction button, which typically I don't really need to do if you're stacking a lot of frames. Now, let's do this one more time, and I'm going to show you a little bit more interesting part of the sun. Uh, I did this video actually quite a while ago. So I'm going to go back to the video tab. Yes, we're going to trash that, which doesn't actually throw out the video, don't worry. And let's grab, let's grab this guy right here, which I did about three months ago. And, oh, yep, here it'll go. It's asking us if this is a mono camera or not, which it is. And I'm going to take my green box and I'm going to put it over some of the details that we want to align the frames to. And for this, I am going to increase the percentage stacked about 50%. We are moon and sun surface hit stack and it will stack for us. And this one actually go pretty quick because there aren't as many frames. And once again, I'm going to show you this section. This, this sunspot was quite a bit more interesting and dramatic, I might add. So we'll, of course, apply sun color. And we'll, we'll bring the sun, the sharpness of about 60. I think I go a little bit overboard. Eh, yeah, actually, 80 doesn't, 88 doesn't look too bad. All right. Uh, contrast, see what contrast does for us. Contrast didn't really help too much. But then of course I am going to actually drop, add a little bit of noise reduction on this one because we didn't have as many frames to, st to stack. You can also invert your image like this and kind of get another totally different look. Of course you play with the brightness a little bit. To get sort of a different kind of feel, you can start really drag out some extra details that are kind of interesting and so forth. And then of course down here is our save button, which actually I don't want to save it at that brightness. And oh, there you go. And, and once again, one of the great things about this software is that pretty much your image is Instagram or Facebook ready very, very quickly, okay? Look at this, we did this twice in this tutorial for you. And yeah, I'm really enjoying doing this. I'm gonna do it a little bit more. Although today the sunspots weren't quite as interesting. I'll have to give it a shot some other time. The other side of the sun might have some more cool stuff on it. Uh, maybe I'll eventually I'll get like a calcium filter and give that a try. Try to get some of the prominences and so forth. Those, that's those big jets that kind of stick out from the sun. They're pretty cool looking. But yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this and found this interesting. This software is pretty cool. Uh, give it a try.